In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick Madden Ultimate Team tip. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I upload four times a day here on YouTube every single day with some type of tip, strategy, or concept that you can utilize to help you get better in Madden 21. And so today what I wanted to do is I want to give you one just very simple tip, but I feel like a very powerful tip. And that is to when you're working through your team, when you're, when you're managing your MUT team, how to build your MUT team, I want to kind of give you a little bit of a formula that I've developed for myself. You see I have a 91 uh, overall team, and here is uh, my lineup here. I'll show you real quick. Um, and I did do videos. I did do a video on Brett Favre and why he's the best quarterback in Madden 21. By far the best quarterback in my opinion. Uh, Michael Vick's a Michael Vick's a really solid scrambler, um, but in my opinion, I'd much rather Brett Favre. 78 speed actually gets the job done for me as far as scrambling. He can still run quarterback draws, which I think is actually really uh, kind of crazy. But you see here, I have the new DK Metcalf. I have the Brandon Cooks, Tyron Calico, and I get a lot of questions about how did you do that. Honestly, guys, um, I don't know a ton about Madden Ultimate Team. But I want to give you just a couple quick tips of what I've learned in the first month or so that the game's been out. And it's kind of a schedule or formula that I think you can definitely replicate and implement into your own uh, Madden Ultimate Team journey. And that is the first thing that I've figured out is to have coins you ha or to, um, to make coins, you have to have coins, right? So when you're building your team up, one of the best ways to make coins is to do these solo challenges. But I want to talk specifically about a couple of solo challenges that are very, very beneficial. The first one is that every single week, new legends come out and you want to do the legends release challenges because you can sell those power up cards for coins. So let me just show you um, what kind of what kind of uh, power ups you can certainly sell um, for coins. And this will certainly help you. If you don't plan on using the legends on your team, you can sell the power-ups, you know, just to get yourself some coins to get you started. There's also several, several players out that can be very budget-friendly. Um, and if you guys would like to, let me know in the comments, and I can do a video about the best budget players uh, in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go over to Program, and then I'm going to show you uh, power-ups. And then specifically what we're going to look at is different... Um, different power-up legend players. So one of them would be like Lawrence Taylor as an example. Um, you can get his power-up for literally just doing the solo challenge, which is very, very simple to do. Um, and if you guys would like, I can show you videos. Um, but you see here, if you do his power-up, you get it, it. It'll take you probably 10 minutes to get it. And you can sell his power-up card for about 15K right now. Another card that would be an example of this would be like Deion Sanders. So uh, I'll show you that as well. Um, he's a really, really good corner, probably the best cornerback, I believe, in the game. But what you'll see here is his power-up is going for um, 16,000, 17,000 coins. So this is one simple way that you can do it to make Madden Ultimate Team, um, is to, is to, or to make coins in the game, is to just simply do these do those um, sets. Now, once you have coins, you see here I have 13,222 coins. What I'm going to do and what I want to encourage you to do is you want to, on Monday and Tuesdays of the week, that is when you want to do your coin making methods. The market is the most stable, at least in my opinion, on Monday and Tuesdays every single week. Um, and that is also whenever I oftentimes will sell my entire binder so that I can basically be preparing for weekly. Because at the end of the day, the majority of us are going to be primarily playing Madden Ultimate Team um, on a weekend league. That's why we're playing the game. And so what I like to do is I'll qualify for a weekend league on Monday. Then I'll sell my team, basically, um, and go down to more of a budget-friendly squad um, and do coin-making methods on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I will re-buy re most of my team back at a lower price. This is one simple way that you can use you know, the buying and selling of cards. Now, um, one other little method that you could do to make some coins, and this is coming back to that method about making coins throughout the week, is the get a player method. So basically, get a player is very, very simple. It's the cheapest pack in the store. It's the best pack to buy in the store, and it's the pack that doesn't cost you any actual money uh, to be able to buy and only costs you coins. So as you have coins, I would encourage you to do this get a player method. Basically, I'm going to rip these open over and over again and get these cards. And then what you're going to do with these 
is you are going to use um, different sets within the game to be able to then allow you to upgrade them to more, um, or basically to get better cards through that vehicle, okay? So what you would do, and this is why I like to do this on Mondays and Tuesdays, because these are the times of the week that these cards are, it's the best time to sell the top of the level cards, because if you sell the cards in the beginning or the later in the week when they're in packs, that's where you're going to, the, the market is going to basically crash because a lot of people are going to open up packs. A lot of people are going to be getting all these cards and that is what causes the market to basically do it. It's a significant downshift. For example, if you were to search for Lawrence Taylor last, probably Saturday, his market, his market share would be very, very low. Okay. He would, he would probably be going for nine to 10,000 coins. Now he's going for 14. Deion Sanders would probably be going for 12 to 13,000 coins, but now he's going for 23. So market fluctuation fluctuation is something that I think is very important, something that I've learned personally in the last couple of um, couple of weeks as I've kind of been trying to become a little bit more um, aware of how to actually make coins and mutt. So this is the best way to do it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to these exchange sets right here. And you will, ex as you're doing the get of players, you will exchange them in these two categories, the 66 to 69 or the 70 to 74. Um, so you see here, and I can, and I don't have any right now, but I could basically put these cards in, and what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to get a random 70 to 74 overall uh, gold player. And then from there, what you want to do is you want to come back over here into the archive, and you want to go over to, I believe, it's not, is it Superstar? Yes, yeah, Superstar MVPs, and it says right here that you can exchange seven or exchange three 70 to 74 core golds. So it looks like I have those in my binder here. So I'm gonna exchange them for this card. And now that's gonna give me a 76 to 78 overall card, which then I could do two things. I could either sell this card or I could add it to a set and prepare for different promos that we already know are gonna be coming out, like the 50 promo, which will be coming out every single week, or even Legends, or um, the one that's most recent is the uh, team, the um, the set, um, or I'm sorry, the uh, not the Rising Stars, but the uh, team standouts. So then what I can do is come over here in the team of the week, and you wanna to go to the second category here, and I can add those 70 to 76 uh, or 78 to 86 overall golds, uh, or I can, I'm sorry, I can add those 70 to 74 overall gold cards to basically allow me to um, exchange up to a 78 to 86 overall Team of the Week player. So you're going to do the set for very low cost of coins. And what's also really cool about the get a player method is it allows you to pull, um, it, it has odds that you can pull power up cards. Power up cards go for a lot more than just a standard silver. Um, card and if you get a great power up card, for example, if you got um, if you got like a Tyree kill power up, or if you got you know any any basic level power up card is going to go for a substantial amount of coins. So basically, what that boils down to is it's a slow grind. But for example, even if you get a even if you get a silver card. Um, that's worth about 700 coins on the market, but then if you get a gold like this uh, Collins, that's worth about you know 2,000 could be 1,500 to 2,000 coins. The reason that's significant is if you have a power up, you're basically always going to win with this method. This method works every year. It works really, really well this year. And so this is just you know one little thing that you can do. But as you're going through and making the coins, the biggest thing I want you to take away from today's video is when you are selling the items in your binder. For example, if you try new cards out and you don't like them, I wanna encourage you to not make the same mistake that I have made and try to sell these cards. Um, for example, this Darren Waller, um, if you tried to sell him over the weekend, he would be worth significantly less coins than he's actually going for right now. Because the market, basically what it does on Mondays and Tuesdays is essentially it stabilizes. Now on Wednesdays, what I personally like to do is I think that is when the training is the lowest. So I will buy coins and basically invest for um, for future training because I know when the new cards come out, I'm going to need to upgrade them. As you see here, he's going for about 857,000 coins today. I bought him for 726,000 coins. So that's what I'm talking about when I say, you know, you, if you buy and sell at the right times, that's that if you time the market, yes, it doesn't beat time in the market, but 
in general, in my opinion, the two best ways to make coins in Madden 21 are the get a player method where you're going to be basically always turning a positive return. It's a slow and consistent way to make coins. The second method is to you um, is to do solo challenges to basically ramp you up. So the ones I would primarily focus on would be the 50. Um, it would be the 50, the weekly 50s. Uh, and then I would also do the... Da, 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 the legends one every single week i would always do the team of the week ones um you know solo challenges are just a very easy way to get coins if you go through all the solos you're actually going to make a pretty su substantial amount of coins but in my opinion get a player method and then doing the upgrade sets to prepare for either the 50 or the um, 70 to 80 overalls that's going to help you make a lot of coins back and one thing really quickly whenever you are buying the 50 players like for example if i wanted to buy uh, the taylor mays card or i wanted to buy the dominique riders Camardi card what you don't want to do what you absolutely do not want to do is you do not want to buy those cards on just the auction block because if you do that they're going to be going for about nine hundred thousand coins or whatever it may be what you want to do is you want to do the sets on them so essentially what i also like to do and this is a really 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 powerful tip in my opinion for this week um what i plan to do on on either tuesday or wednesday to kind of prepare for the weekend is i will go in and I will basically do some different filters on here because you can get some decent snipes if you do these filters. But basically what you want to do is you want to come over here um, and you want to go to by program. This is how I will prepare for the 50 this weekend. So you're going to go into the 50 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to quality and I'm going to put an 82 to 83s because they changed the sets. Now you need 82 to 83s. And basically, these are going to, you see how they're stabil out, stabilizing out at about 20,000 coins. But if you, you can get some snipes if you go to by type and then by team, um, that will allow you, you'll see, you'll get some decent, uh, decent luck on this. And people aren't going to be doing this. Um, and I just personally, this is just a great way to prepare throughout the week. And on Wednesday, uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday, you're going to see these prices will probably drop a little bit. But I would go ahead and pick these up. Because when the new cards come out, these prices are going to jump to probably 25k. And what you can do is, if you have these all prepared in advance, then when the new cards come out, you can buy them all instantly, and you can resell them on the auction house for pretty much setting the market. And so that's just another uh, quick tip that I would recommend. But those are some really key takeaways that I have on Madden Ultimate Team, especially how to make coins, how to build your God Squad um, within the first month or two of the game we've got also you have to understand about promos every year there's different promos come out and they different they mean different things so you know as different promos come out there's typically one or two cards that are like really top of the line cards and then there's other cards that are kind of average what i would try to focus in on is basically trying to turn those average cards into coins because you can buy them for cheap they're not really that effective you maybe do the set to get them um, and then you can resell them. But just just some think just think through that because we do have the most feared promo coming up in a few weeks here for October. Um, so just something to be thinking about as you kind of go through Madden Ultimate Team. But this is you know meant to be just kind of a beginner's guide to my, be what I've learned because honestly I'm a beginner. Um, this is the first year that I've actually been seriously focused in, locked in, and mutt. And I'm not all the way there yet. I'm getting there. But I think I'm getting better every single week. So I just wanted to share some of this with you guys. If you want to jump in the Discord, that would be great. There's a link in the description for you to be able to do that. Also, if you would like personalized coaching in Madden um, in Madden Ultimate Team or just in X's and O's of the game, I actually specialize a little bit more in the X's and O's, and I'm getting better slowly in Mutt. But I do personal one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. You can pick those up in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for your time. We've got a couple more YouTube videos coming at you today. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for the latest updates.